Want to tell us about tonight's game, Coach? Well, tonight's game was um, more of a disappointment than anything else. Um, after that New Mexico game, I thought we'd come out just a little bit better and function a little bit better, even though we put points on the board tonight. And, um, we didn't put none on in New Mexico, but we put points on the board. And we left about three touchdowns on the field. Uh, from a defensive standpoint of view, I, I felt they outmuscled us up front. And, um, you know, they created some big holes for those running backs. And they play action pass. You know, our secondary is all freshmen. And I'm not making any excuse for them, but, you know, they get, you know, they're going to make freshman mistakes. They got caught in that play action pass. You know, and they had big play opportunities. And then that number 25, he broke our backs. Every, when we tried to get back into the game, that number 25 broke our backs. Uh, he, he's a tremendous young man. He's a tremendous return guy. And uh, he scored one against uh, uh, Georgia Tech. I saw it last week. I said, my God, a guy can run against Georgia Tech. And, you know, um, we did everything in our power to stop him, but he was just a little bit too much for us. So they got a good football team. I give them all the credit in the world, and um, you know they deserve that win tonight. I don't think we did anything to. I think we tried to climb back into the game, but we couldn't climb back. They never let us climb back in the game. If it was not, if, if it was our fault or their fault, or they're not allowing us, but it was kind of a two-way sword there for me. And it was a tough game. It was a very tough game. Uh, disappointing loss, and I, I just told the guys that, uh, hey, you know, in life, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna have some ups and downs, you know, and I wanted to win and. They wanted to win, and we went out to win, but it didn't happen. And so that's the way we had to come in and, and accept it and move on to the next game. And we can't sit here now and, and, and lick our wounds too long. we got to get ready to play the next one. Speaking of the next game, where are you off to, and what do you expect? Uh, well, we're off to Alcorn, and, um, you know, they're a good football team. They won the championship last year, and um, they're in our area, meaning that um, they're in the east. We're in the east. And, so it's an important swag game for us, you know, because now, you know, we want to make a run at it. You know, we may have lost tonight, but the run to that title is still available for us. It's a long season ahead. You know, and my dreams, and I, and I think the kids' dreams are to see if we can get down to Houston. And that's what it's all about. We all started out together trying to get down to Houston. I don't think these kids are quit. As a matter of fact, they're too young to know any better. You know what I'm saying? They're too young to quit. And, you know, they're going to get bounce back and play tough again next week and play their hearts out. And I believe in this team. I believe with all my heart. So that, you know, they, this, this is going to be one, this is going to be developing into one of the finest football programs, that, you know, you know, on, on, on this side and this in the East that, that people are going to be surprised. You know, right now they're saying, oh, well, look at, look at Valley. You know, they lost again. Look at Valley. But, you know, I guarantee if this hold up in the and just be patient. These guys are going to prove a lot of people wrong. Coach, you kind of talked about a lot of young talent on uh, the field. It seemed like you had a bright spot in our native uh, Greenwood, native uh, no doubt about it. You know, um, he was a big catch for us. Everybody in the country won him, and um, he went away and got uh, got eligible. Uh, thank, thanks to our fantastic uh, academic department, you know, he made eligibility, and I mean, he's out there playing. And, He's a bright spot from Greenwood. He's probably one of the best football players that came out of Greenwood in a long time and, and will be probably one of the best football players at Valley in a long, long time. He's a, he's a spot for us. We just got to find a support back that can be stable in there, that can move the football for us, on, you know, stability-wise. And, and uh, we got to keep people from pressure us. They're trying to pressure us to get up for it. You know, we got a new offensive tackle who, uh, who's only a freshman and a um, and, uh, young man. But, and so, um, but you know, they know we're young, and so they try to take advantage of our youth. That's why you find them coming out to play action pass early in the game, or or blitzing us real hard because they know we're, we're a young team. And uh, you know, I would do it too. But you know, we're growing, we're gaining experience by that. Coach, you all got off to a slow start, but the momentum picked up right before you went into halftime. What were you all out there telling them? Because they they got excited up out there on the field and. And seemingly, that's where they, you know, seemingly got their mojo. Well, they, you know, one thing they're not quitters, and if you, if you let them know what's going on, and you tell them what's happening out there, and you can put them in the right place, you know, they inspire themselves. A lot of these guys came from winning programs. They didn't come from losing programs where they're going to roll over on you. We made sure that the guys that we brought in this year came from winning programs, and that was important because they know how to win, and they're not going to quit. They're going to take a long time, even to the last minute tonight. Uh, when that defense went back on the field, they took one knee. They all came out. They came out ready to play football. You know, it's a, it a fine group of guys. You know, and I'm never gonna, 
uh, turn my back on it, but these guys are a fine group of guys and they're giving everything they got. And it's going to come down to the wire and you're going to see us somewhere in that picture when it's all said and done.